Too high for Welsh, but he's got the run on uh, Coleman. Now he gets clear, he's got a plenty of strength, this guy too. Goes for a kick down there towards Taylor, he's got the mark. I think he might be a handful for Hanson today. Two marks. Two marks, he's already kicked one goal and going for goal number two from about uh, 15 metres out. And it'll be changed pretty quickly if uh, Taylor is accurate enough. No doubt about that, it's a goal, so it's two goals, 1-13 Richmond. To Fitzroy, three goals, 4-22. And Brian Taylor always a good mark and he's kicked both of those goals from almost the boots it up the centre wing position Wiley in front of Neville Taylor Wiley brings it up to half forward or oh, over the head of Roach on that occasion loose ball with full forward Hanson tried to get the kick out past Laurie it goes Clarkers there 15 metres out from goal snaps and has put it through for four points to the Tigers Good goal by Coke. He looks dangerous this afternoon. 3 1 19. Richmond trailing Fitzroy by 10 points. Okay, and gets into the hands of uh, Roach. A long hand pass to Wiley. Got an open space to run. Here goes for pass. Looking for Taylor. It's too wide, but he's too good for Hanson. Gets away quickly. Snaps up the goal, but he's off target. The box on between them before the game's over. Over centre half forward. Rendell in front taps the ball down. It's Harris bouncing on it. But Bartlett's in there too. Finally, it's uh, Clayton missed it. How it comes now to Rollins has been pretty quiet the first quarter. Scoots around at centre half forward, shoots it out towards the forward pocket, and Wiley's got the mark. Wiley's got the mark. He'd be about 30 metres out from goal. The distance. And there's the angle, and there's the siren going to end the first quarter. So Richmond need Wiley to kick this one. Let's see what the ex-Western Australia can do with it. Coming around nicely. It's a beautiful shot for goal. That's a real pressure goal kicked by Wiley. And the score at quarter time. Richmond 4-7. That's coming over to uh, Wilson. This looks dangerous. Down he goes. Kane got him. It'll be a free kick. Bad play on the part of Kane that time. It was. Got into his back. And uh, I think he went at him. Here you go. Just a bit. Mark on the world. As we see, uh, Reigns look there for Taylor. Taylor's got the mark. That's a good grab by Taylor. He's far too good for Hanson today. Four marks to Brian Four Taylor. 31. No doubt about that one. Puts goal number three to uh, Taylor. Five goals, 7.37 uh, uh, Richmond to uh, Fitzroy, 8.755. And we're at the six and a half minute mark. Better towards Wiley, got one in the back. The umpire said plain as Rollins gets it out to the bar. This looks dangerous. He hurries the ball back. It's a mark to Welsh. He's only about uh, the same distance out actually as Taylor. About 15 metres out directly in front of him. Notice that uh, Coleman's looping a bit too. That's a goal, so it's six goals, 7.43 Richmond. The Fitzroy, 8.755. Two very quick goals coming up to Richmond. First of all by Brian Taylor, his third. Folk wins it. Bartlett's there, Reigns, out to Wiley. He kicked one just before the quarter time siren. That one looks pretty good too. Three very quick goals to Richmond. They're right back in the match for Tigers. Wiley's second goal, 7-7-49 to 8-7-55. Done just about at the half-back line for Richmond. Gets underneath that like a nine-iron shot. Parrish in front, cloak over the top, can't complete the mark. It goes to Rollings. Short pass to half-forward, almost gathered in down there by Wiley. Thought about the hand pass, now he gives it to Williams. Williams in a goal, fires and has put it through. One goal, Williams is first. A great play on the part of, uh, of Wiley. 8-7-55. Richmond to Fitzroy. Nine. So Roach to take the uh, mark out there on the centre wing position. Roach no longer a full forward. Headed the goal kicking last year and uh, now playing in the ruck. That's possible because Mark Lee's out of the side. There's Wiley again. He's playing a great game. Looking there for Taylor. I think he's put it through again. Join. Nine goals. Seven. Opposite number four in range. Puts it out to the wing position. Oh, Malthouse could have been finished on Conlon. He doesn't look too good. The whistle has gone. It will be a free kick to Conlon if in fact he can take it. Came down pretty heavily. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Thank you very much. Might have caught him on the point there with a I bit of... Uh, I think Larry better. Holmes would have been. Should imagine Conlon uh, looking a bit better now. Oh, you're kidding. Well, he, well, he's looking better than he was. Let's say that. There's a, finally, the ball is set up there now by Richmond up there towards Taylor. He's got the mark. Put hands 
Robinson out of business. He's already kicked three goals. May have helped the situation a bit. So make it a point the difference. And he's put it through for goal number four. And the Tigers move on a 10-7-67 to Fitzroy 10-8-68. And we're just about uh, 28 and a half minutes into this. His kick is across towards centre half fourth. The backers, uh, Cloak goes for the punch, looking there for Wells. He ducks. He's clear back to Lo uh, Cloak again. Cloak was looking for Bath. He's gone for a short pass to Wells. They were playing keepings off between the two of them that time. And it'll be a chance for Richmond to go seven points. I guess at the moment, really back in business. That's a good kick. And it's a goal. So it's Richmond 11 goals, 9.75 to Fitzroy. 10 goals, 8.60. Snares it beautifully. Long kick by Jeff Raines. Smith and Taylor. Oh, nice push out. That'll be a push out. But the charge it. That will be a push out, surely. Now he's paying the mark. Oh, goodness me. What did you think of that, Luke? Five. He's nodded about that one. So the Tigers now move on to 12 goals, 10.82. And they will go, oh, as the ball comes back to Richmond's half-forward line. A chance now for Rollings to go for a short pass, and a good mark taken there by Wild. He's played a great game today for the Tigers, directly in front. Tigers starting to look good at the moment. That's coming around nicely for a goal. So it's 13-10-88, uh, Richmond to Fitzroy, 11-8-74. And Richmond's the ground after being bowled over by Wilson. An accident, in my opinion. The ball back there towards that uh, half four lunch. Barton got one right across the head that time, and he'll take the free kick. Barton will take the free kick at half forward. Actually, the centre half forward position, one right on the edge of the uh, square. Age 35, but uh, still played a great game last week. Been a little quiet today, but played a lot better in this third quarter. Certainly has. It was the match winner last Saturday against uh, South Melbourne. They won by a point. Pushed out by Parrish. Ball comes out now to Rendell. Chance now for Welsh. He's grabbed too high. He'll get a free kick for sure. He's had a great uh, third quarter. Welsh has been a very strong. Waiting on uh, Welsh from about 30 metres out. The kick is right through the middle. Another goal. So the Tigers move on to 14-11. The Tigers looking pretty good so far in the third quarter. Rioli's kick is short. Well, doesn't bounce too well for Parrish, and he got one too high for his corner. Williams flicks it out to Landy. Shrugs the tackle beautifully, Graham Landy. His pass, superb to Taylor. Taylor got the last goal. Dribbling in the conditions. Chris Smith standing on the mark. Brian Taylor, 25 metres out from goal. Has kicked another one. Six goals to Taylor. Richmond barging ahead here in the match of the day at the MCG. The score is 15-11, 101 points. To Fitzroy, 11 8 74. The big thing about Taylor, Pete, got a 35 metre handball. Barker to Welsh. Superbly done. Peter Welsh has kicked three goals. The short pass to Taylor. Football. A great quarter by Welsh. This uh, third one, Peter. Yes, Welsh and Roach. Roach shot him. Taylor fires at the goals. Goal number seven coming up for Brian Taylor. No mistake about that. It's a fine quarter of football for Richmond. Seven goals to Taylor, 16 and... ...forward again through Michael Roach. Rioli underneath it and takes the mark in front of Clayton. He decides to play on straight away. Almost got caught with the ball, but a long kick into the square. Taylor again marks! What a day he is having. He beat Hanson point to cover. He has to go for a shot. I think Richmond wanted to uh, put him playing well in the season. Well, that's not bad. Goal. Goals to Brian Taylor that equals his performance earlier in the year against Fitzroy and Wood. He's made a good comeback today for Richmond up under the centre wing position. This is one of the best games I've seen Williams play in former Tasmanian. Over to Brian Wood. Long kick by Wood, the former skipper, up to Peter Welsh, who had a great third quarter, but he missed an easy mark there. Turns around, shrugs the tackle well. Long kick by Welsh. Well done, Peter Welsh. That is a great goal. And four goals to the former Hawthorne middle champ. 18-11, 119, Richmond to... Tigers, punched away again by Rowling. Back it comes to Wood, he's been a great player today. Back it goes towards Wiley, top one, he'll get a free kick. I think he might have staged a bit, but he's got it. Probably get the Oscars, he's going back for his kick too. The choice of quarter's not happy with that one. Goal number five. 
Should kick this little ex-West Australian. He's had a great season. One of the favourites for the Brownlow. And that's a goal. So it's 19-14, 128, which went to Fitzroy, 13-12-90. Be a free kick. Rioli to Reigns. I think uh, Rollins is okay. Reigns is at right half forward. Coleman. At the back timer! Hit the run! I was wondering where he was because the big Fitzroy guy was on his own, as you can see in this picture, and you'll see Taylor come and take it out of Rendell's hands. Coming up if he kicks accurately, and he has done most of the day. 15 metres out, Taylor fires at the goal. Have to wait on the goal umpire's decision. He's missed it. It's particularly late in the game. Oh, look at that from Mark Boy Reigns. What a mark. Oh, that's pretty boy Reigns at his best. Look at that from Mark. That would nearly be the mark of the year. Pretty close to it. Oh. Reigns again. Forbes, beautiful player, this fella. Poetry in motion, as Jack Dyer would say. The ball hits the deck now, back there to Rollings, a hand pass, coming over there to Rioli. Oh, that's beautiful play by Mr Magic, a shot for goal, and what a goal! Oh, what a beautiful bit of play on the part of Rioli. And that's Rioli at his best. Rioli's first goal, seventh big league scoreboard, Richmond. Twin position, here's a go now for Reigns, who took a magnificent mark about three minutes ago. Drives the ball, looking up there for Taylor. Coleman and Taylor together, and Carl Taylor's got it. That's a beautiful one-hander. And this guy's going to capture the imagination of the football punt if he keeps on playing like this. Watch it in replay now. Bit of uh, manoeuvring going on by both players. That's a Peter Hudson mark. That's that a beautiful mark. And of course, and 53 for the season. If he's accurate, uh, what's the result? And that is a goal. So no, the Tigers, 21 goals, 15, 141. Long shot for goal. Taylor up there with Coleman. It'll be too long for both of them. There's a box on between the two of and what a foolish boy Taylor is. He's played so well and he shouldn't uh, mess up his performance by doing something foolish. That's right. He's got the scores on the board. It's Cloak at the back. Lost it. Reigns. High to full forward. Cloak takes the mark amid attention. And David Cloak has a chance. It's Roy Coffin well and truly closed. In comes Cloak. Fires at the goal, no mistake about that one. Wait for the goal on pass decision. It's through for four points and Richmond go further ahead and the score. They all missed that one. Back to Taylor. His kick is smothered by Cloak. Finally, it's picked up by Wiley. Already kicked uh, four goals. There's a chance for goal number 10 for Taylor. And he's put it through for goal number 10. Oh, he's going to have a go back at, uh, at Coleman now. And... Uh, I don't think that's too smart after being on top all night. It's a bit stupid. And there's the final siren. And the Tigers have come out winning this game pretty easily. 23 goals, 18, 156.